writing around Japanese Americans and World War II. It's about Japanese Americans and incarceration. When Japanese Empire actually attacked Pearl Harbor, that's when Franklin Roosevelt issued the Executive Order 9066, which led the mass incarceration of the Japanese Americans into the prison camps. 120,000 Japanese Americans were affected by the Executive Order 9066. But you need to know that two-thirds of them were actually American citizens. You had only a week to get prepared for being forcibly removed from your homes or farms and put into these prison camps in desolate areas in the United States. There were actually Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts in most of the 10 major incarceration centers for the teenagers because you need some activities because if you're there for three to four years, you have a lot of time on your hand. So when they're thinking about a name, one of the scout teacher said, there's these hundreds of battalions are fighting in the war. So the hundreds were actually consisted of Japanese Americans from Hawaii. They wanted to honor the hundreds. We have this amazing artifact called the Thousand Stitches also known as the good luck sash. The Japanese tradition uh, thousand stitch is made by a mother of the soldier who is going to the battlefield. This thousand stitch was made by the mother who was prisoned in Poston, Arizona in one of the Japanese American incarceration center while the son was fighting for the U.S. Army in the 442 regimental combat team in Europe. The mother of the soldier will knot the French knot, and then they'll take it around to their friends, and then the women will stitch the knot for the sons to come back safely from the battlefield. Usually there's a Japanese saying on the thousand stitches that you come back safe. But this family, the Takei family, was already Christian before they immigrated. So when you look at the sash, it says, God bless you. This is a pair of Japanese form sandals. It's called the Geta. So you see Mickey Mouse, something really iconic in American culture. This Japanese sandals were actually made in a prison camp for first generation, mostly the Japanese leaders of the community. The father, he was a Japanese language school teacher in Northern California. So he is picked up earlier than the rest of the family, and he goes to Santa Fe, New Mexico, while the rest of the family, including his kids, goes to Topaz in Utah. The father handmade these Japanese sandals, and he chipped it to Topaz. What's really significant with our artifacts is it's very relatable to the American public on all these places that it's actually practiced or carried on in these Japanese American prison centers during World War II. So have that common ground in a way or introduction or access point, but then dive deep into the history. I think that will be really powerful to tell this narrative and share with the American public. Mm -hmm.